guys and welcome to my channel where today we're going to do some unboxing. Um, my friend Kat over at Mrs. Kat's Crafting did a, a subscriber giveaway drawing and I won. I've been so lucky with her channel. You guys have got to get over there. Go subscribe. subscribe. I'll leave a link um, in the description box to her channel. Let her know I sent you, the Junk Journal Diva sent you, okay? Because she gives out some pretty cool prizes. Now the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First seven are going to be Temu. And where are we if we can't do our Temu, right? Now I have Fuku washi tape, all right? But I don't have this washi tape. There are one, two, three, four, five rolls, and it's a little bit bent up, but that's okay. I got it because it's like the metallic sparkly. There's rose gold, and then there's a, like a champagne, and there's a regular gold, and then there's a silver. There's like a white silver. One, two, three, four, five. There's not a whole lot on the roll, but I think it was like 89 cents. Okay, that was pretty cool. And then I got, it's called Life Essay, and it's just some vellum, and it's vellum. Ooh, no. Wow, guys, this is like, it's like a vellum, but it's like a plastic. That's pretty cool. So anyhow, it's, it's like algebra, right? Like academic writing postscript drawings and stuff like that so I'm doing this big huge um, book with seven signatures so I got a lot of this for that book then I got this uh, date stamper which I thought was pretty cool didn't have one well I have one but it was like modern day and I wanted one to be able to go, like, way back in time. So let's hope this one will do that for me. So we've got, oh, no, it's 2024, 2025. Oh, it's way out there. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll look for an old one, one that just does the numbers. Maybe I'll do a give. Maybe when I do a giveaway, I'll give this one away because I'm really, I don't know. I was hoping that it would be like a retro. I'll just leave that out. Okay, and then next up, we know I'm doing the um, Fedco Spring 2024 collaboration. Thank you to Melissa Sue for joining me on that and then this is just I don't know I thought I saw her do and oh, these papers you get all the little extras right you get all the little stamps and stuff now mine's going to be basically black and white with splashes of color but look at all of this and this is a nice paper too I don't know what it is but it's a nice paper so this will do good these will make nice little Tags, journaling cards, etc. See, really pretty. Glad I got these. Very glad I got these. So, lots of nice little goodies in there. That one's a repeat. Ooh, look at that. Well, those were cool. Very cool. Look at that. That's got like stuff in it. Okay, so that was neat. Loving that. And then what else? I gotta put this back in, guys, because I don't want to lose all my little stickers, all my little extra goodies. This I can just put back in the box. Okay, and then I got the music paper. And I don't know why I got the music paper. I just did. Let me get it open here and show you. I just thought it would be fun. 
There's a lot you can do with the six by six. Really nice. Very nice. See, and I'm doing this whole grunge thing, and I thought this would also be good for the grunge. So there you go. That's it. Okay, now that was all of the Temu. We're getting into Miss Kathy's stuff now. And she sent a note that says, Rhonda, you're the first person I've shared my homemade stickers with. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for all your support, Mrs. Cat. Now check this out. These are cool. She made these. I like it. And then here's a bunch of dates. How cool is that? So I'll be using those. And then, okay, so I already was nosy and looked, so I can't help it. That's just my nature. I got some book pages. But there's a special part in here when we get to you guys. I want you to know um, this was like the perfect, perfect thing. These are Polsko, May 25th, 1931. Polsko Merchandise. Not sure, but they got blue sea tender fillets, 12 one pound cartons, two icicle tablets, 21 pound packages, parchment. So this is like packing and they're glued to the page. Is that not the coolest thing? And then the book, oh, this was just filled with crazy good stuff. Okay, okay, so I think it goes this way. No? This one just is on backwards. It goes this way. All right. So here's our book. Isn't this cool? Codfish. Pacific Coast Codfish Company. First ever I've seen anything like this, ever. I just thought that was the neatest thing, the neatest thing ever. Okay, so next up we have, your, your minds are gonna start racing here pretty quick, just like mine did, okay? We got music. Let's just open this up too. Keep hearing things, guys. I think it's just the wind. Okay, we got this music, which is cool. Then inside all the music we had Steenland's oil service. This was that Kohler Otter part. She had sent me some stuff from there before. Here's the map. Look at that. That looks like the Carlsbad Caverns that have been there once or twice. This is downtown Norfolk, Fredericksburg. No, nope, that wouldn't be our caverns then. Okay, and then I got Fuel kerosene bottle gas. Here's the sales tax paid for 1987. And look at this graph paper. I don't know if she did that, but look at the perfect circles in it. This is so cool. Look at this. Filled November 20th, 1890 for... 
confirmation of sale. So cool. Look at that. 1890. This is old. There's more of the beautiful graph paper. And then bags, animal nose, feed, heavy duckwood bottom, head ropes. Same as 24 with pulley attach, fruit bags. And then here's Kohler auto parts, receipts. Here's more of the music, more of the mat. Well, that, no, I was going to say, did we just go through that? But no, here's some German dictionary pages, more music. Oh, we're, this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. Axes, cancels, hisco, single bit, half wedge main, jersey pattern, double bit. So that's tack. More of that awesome graph paper. And the music. Okay. We're getting... We're just getting started. There's some really cool napkins. I love these. These are just so cool. Look at this. Built-in spatter. And then here's Paris. And more of the blue. Lovely. Okay, so we're getting to the cool part now. Now this, and there's some paperwork in here to discuss this too. There's this picture and then I can't tell if that's CB Erskine or Erskine and then this was Erwin Ben Benedich Erskine but these are old letters. Check it out. 1937 in this paper is, it's just perfect, beautiful paper. And I notice that some of these have circles, some of them have little squares. And then it says less than once three something. Erwin Benedict Erskine. Dear brother and all, some, I will now try and answer more fully your letters of 12 December 1936. All something is well here. A bad winter, but seems to be on the way out now. About 30 inches of snow on the level. Just about to dissolve now, thermos. The thermometer showed below zero weather for the past two months. Okay, so these are really neat letters, okay? And there's not just one. There is a bunch of these. So there's also paper in here, paperwork, that we're going to get to. And then here's another letter. And then this is... Etta M. Shell to Mrs. Irwin Erskine Sr. So this is a letter from probably her friend that says, My dear sister, it has been a long time since I have written, hasn't it? And I know how you feel. For some time ago, I felt worried when I did not hear from you. I am all right and have been since I can get something outside in June. I feel badly. I something badly at first, but as time went on, I kept something until inside I could walk okay. But not so well on something ground. Oh, uneven ground. But now I walk something w well anywhere. We had to forego the very earliest leg 
but everything else we had in abundance. Had a great big field of sweet corn. And believe it or not, we had a cut that would go around something to see. I don't know. It's hard to read. But anyhow, really cool letter. We're still not to the cool part yet, okay? Keep this guy in mind. And then this one doesn't have a return address. But look at this paper. Dear bro, your letter just received. Very glad to hear from you. There must be something in mental telepathy for I have been thinking a day or something. Oh, so about you and your people. This is 720 1944, but look at the back. Look at that ledger paper on the back. Really cool, huh? I just love this. Okay, there's that one. And then, return to five days to Chartered Institute of American Inventors, 8th floor, Barrister Building, Washington, D.C. Mr. E.B. Erskine, Sr. This, y'all, is going to be Mr. E.B. Erskine, Sr. I don't know who it is, but that's who it's going to be. And he's going to get his own journal. And his journal is going to be where he invents something really cool. Look at this. Dear sir, the Chartered Institute is sending you a folder, Successful Selling of Inventions, which gives proof of actual marketing of both patent and unpatent ideas. So this is the letter. You guys remember when they used to, uh, there used to be the invention? You could send your money, your, your, you, you, it would go in and this is Charles Beard, secretary. You would, they would send you back this package and you would, you would go fill it all out and you would send them the money. See, and, and then they would tell you, you would, you would have to draw the pictures of the parts and whatnot. Um, so at one point I was big into this and and at the time, my crush and I said, oh, we're going to invent a cooler that you would pump and would fill up this bladder and keep it from the ice from melting. That was our big idea. Okay, so return after five days to American Patents Corporation. Look at this. Order for APC service items. Please forward me promptly postpaid the complete set of 12 service items enumerated below and described in your booklet APC selling plan. Self fill filling self fill filling gives what a manu manufacturers want patent pending. These 12 items make self oh, filing safe and simple. So then there's your business reply envelope. Another letter in this very old envelope. This is so cool. So I don't know what he's going to invent yet. Or maybe I'm going to research it and he's already invented it. Okay, this is C.B. Erskine. And this is from Erwin Benedict Erskine. So this might be son, daughter, sister. I don't know. Uh, Erwin. Volume 24, page 139, Americana Magazine for 1933. Robert the Strong something of Anjou and something. So there's something we can look up. Uh, number three, 
Well, volume 24, page 139, Americana Magazine, 1933. So there's a lot of information in here. Lineage in part, history of France, page 55 by Charlotte M. Young, published 1881 by Syndicate something. I don't know. So there's some history in here that I'm going to be looking up, guys. Robert the Magnificent something. So I think they were probably doing, sounds like they were doing their, their family tree on this one. That's pretty cool, let me tell you. Okay, and then we got... Erwin Benedict Erskine. And this is a lot, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Excerpts from the letter of Miss Agnes, Assistant Librarian, Curator of Vermont Historical Society of something University of. In the Vermont Consensus Records, 1800. Uh, somebody, Thomas, is shown as head of family, eight males and seven females as follows, three males under 10 years of age. So it looks to me a streetcar, some conductor act as if they, I don't know, it's hard to read, but there's history in these letters. And so me being the snoopy snoop that I am, I'm going to see what I can find, you know, look, go digging and, you know, get me a hot cup of coffee and spend an afternoon reading. Okay, this is Proof of Invention submitted to Adam Fisher Company, Adam Fisher Company. Okay, gentlemen, on the attached sheets, I'm handing you sketches in full, blah, blah, blah. And then... There's where you would put all your information. And I didn't see anything else on that, but you can bet your sweet petunias Rhonda's going to dig and see if I can't come up with something. Okay, this was uh, Christmas of 1936. And another big old, big old stack of letters. Look at this. Mrs. Charles Booth boards and rooms here some of the time. And look out for blah, ironing. So this doesn't appear to be in order, but I'll figure it out. I'll get it in order. Six. It is numbered. But look at that. Is that not the coolest? I just love stuff like this. It says, please forward if necessary. I love stuff like this. I just love it. Okay, so now we're going to get to the information, okay? This is Ed Heatland family. Ed Heatland was born in Ackley, Iowa, and lived on a farm with his parents, three brothers, and two sisters. He graduated from Ackley High School and then went to California to work for Lockheed Aircraft before enlisting in the Air Force in 1942. In the meantime, I, Bonnie Erskine had grown up along with my three brothers and four sisters in Omaha, Nebraska, and graduated from Benson High School. I went to California for a visit, met Ed, dated a year, and then married him in Los Angeles. I also worked for an aircraft company. When expecting our first child, Ed went to India on assignment, and I returned to Omaha. Ed returned home in 1946, went to work for SNS Electric Company on the road. The road work brought him to Lawrence, Iowa in 1948 when work began on the new municipal light plant. We had a daughter, Carol Lynn, four years old. Our son, Lonnie Dean, was born in 1949, and Ed was working here. We moved to Lawrence in 1952 when Ed took the job as superintendent of the plant. We rented a house from Paul Schuler on, well, at 2nd and Myrtle Streets and later built a house at 510 East Main Street, our second daughter, Kathy June, was born in Alta, Iowa in 1953. By then, Ed was also a city clerk. Ed decided to open his own electrical company in 1955, so we moved again. 
We bought land from Don Sadal about one and one half miles west on Highway 10. Our second home was completed in December of 1958, and we held open house for the public to see. This was the first all-electric home around here. We lived there until all the children had finished Lauren's consolidated school, furthered their education, and had married and had children of their own. In 1965, I opened Bonnie's Children's Store on 3rd Street in a building belonging to C.I. Hersom. I managed the store until 1968. It was great fun dressing the little ones in pretty suits and dresses, but alas, came the blue jeans and the rest is history. Our, our third home, again on Main Street, was built in 1978 on property we bought from Harry Hansen. We have landscaped this land to provide for seven homes to be built. At present time, Theron Martin and Taharan Jolief have homes near completion. We have also opened up a mobile trailer park on West Section Line Road, which has accommodations for 27 trailers. Jack Hughes are the first occupants. Carol Lynn lives in Anaheim, California with her husband, Arthur Monsinger, daughters Heidi and Nicole. Carol Lynn is presently attending college. Lonnie Dean now works with his father for Heatland Electric Incorporated. He lives in the home place with his wife, Julie Stromp, and daughters, Angela and Amber. Kathy also lives in Anaheim, California with her son, Troy Marvin, and is a lab tech at the hospital there. We are members of the United Methodist Church and have been involved in many civic organizations through the years. So that was pretty cool to get that too, Kathy. Thank you. And then we got the Blue Horse Composition Books. 46,000 prizes for boys and girls. I wonder how you get in on that. I don't know, but isn't that cool? Look at this. So, so, so cool. All so cool. There's another one of those. This one feels a little thicker. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool. All right, and then, oh, a couple of die cuts from Timu I forgot about. And then we got this really pretty envelope. This looks like she may have made it. Very nice. And then we got those, you know, the little babies. I wish I could remember the name of them. But they're the little babies. There's a brand where you see them in the... Oh, look. Where you see them all in pots or flowers or... Miss Kathy helped me with the name of those. But she sent me a whole goodie bag of those. See, really cool. Here's one in plastic in the little bee thing. This appears as though it might have been a calendar. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And there's a few more of those. I got a feeling that used to be a calendar. Really nice stuff here. Junk Journaler's Dream. That's what it is. A junk Journaler's Dream. Okay, and then we have Color Me. Color Palette Inspiration. Check it out. So this is pretty cool. This you could color and then make journaling cards or tags or collage with. Very nice. And then there's some other stuff here I haven't shown you, too. Small Victories, a coloring book of little wins, miniature masterpieces. Well, that's nearly cool. Mm, look at all that ephemera. Oh, my goodness. Fussy cut, color in fussy cut. 
Yes. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the ducks. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. Just beautiful. I would like to color these and then cut them out with my circle punch. Look at the fish, the dinosaurs. Very nice. Ooh, that butterfly was pretty, too. And then in the bottom was... Modern hand stitching, dozens of stitches with creative freeform variations. So when I start my slow stitch, mm -hmm, look, I have a go-to, a reference. Really nice. Very nice, Kathy. I am very appreciative. Look at that. So I'm going to have to read this before I start. Curved chain stitch, basic chain stitch, detached chain stitch, layered chain stitch, open chain stitch, seed stitch, twisted chain stitch, lots of stuff wrapped, zigzag, double, oh that's cool, cable, Oh, look at that. A cable chain stitch. That's cool. Detached loop. Yeah, I'm going to have to coral. Daisy. I'm going to have to get busy, guys. Oh, look at that. Stitch, smaller stitch inside the chain stitch. I like that. Yep, getting inspired. That's cool. Couching and wrapping. Knots. I love this. Look at this. So cool. Okay. I know what I got to do. That, oh, sorry guys. I will probably do that closer to winter. Okay. But before we go, there were these coffee bean bags like you, you ground your coffee and put them in here really cool and then there was the raggedy and um, orange and grapefruit sections really cool and then there was more of the graph paper and more of the old ledger with some book pages and some looks like that one looks like coffee stain or stencil or whatnot, but it's really cool. And I wish you guys could feel this. This is so, so cool. And I think it's too. Yeah. Really cool. Very nice. And then look at these flower, like flower bags. Use anaconda from mine to consumer. Fittings. Not sure, but they're they're like flower bags, so I may use these to stamp on some of them. But there were, what, one, two, three, four of those. So that was my, my kitten caboodle. Oh, wait, wait. I almost always forget something. And it's usually something really cool. Look at this. Dual tip calligraphy brush pens nine bright colors nine bright colors look at this look at this oops sorry brush and fiber oh that's cool They're the same color, but they look different to me. Here's a lighter. This is a bright green. Ooh, I like that. This will go good in my garden journal. Bright yellow.
We got a purple. Here's a more like a dull, almost like a butterscotch, I guess is the word I'm looking for. This is a very dark blue. Well, it's, um, it's indigo, almost purple. Here's a blue, almost a teal, very pretty. And then we have a darker green. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, Kathy. Nine of those. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now I have them, but they're all black. All right, so that is my, my uh, unboxing, guys. And I appreciate you coming along with me. And uh, stay tuned. There's more to come.